We apply Green's theorem to find the area of the ellipse x squared by a squared plus y squared by b squared equal to 1. Let's write the statement of the Green's theorem, or rather formula that we have by Green's theorem, by Green's theorem. We have by Green's theorem integral over closed curve integral over closed curve f1 dx plus f2 dy equal to integral over reason del f2 del x minus del f1 del y dx dy integral over closed curve f1 dx plus f2 dy equal to integral over region del f2 del x minus del f1 del y dx dy we know the ellipse to be a closed curve and well what shall i take uh, we want the right hand side to be just a uh, area so we should choose f2 and f1 so that we just get this quantity to be numbers so let's take Let's take F2 equal to X. Then, of, then we have del F2 del X is just 1. And F1, if I take F1 equal to Y, then we will have 1 minus 1 equal to 0, so this will vanish. We don't want that. So let's take f1 equal to minus y. Then we can uh, we'll get this equation h integral over closed curve is still closed curve. Your f1 is minus y minus y dx f2 is x so x dy equal to integral over reason del f2 del x del del x of x is 1 del f1 del y del del y of minus y is minus 1 well we just get a number 2 here let's take this 2 to the left hand side So you can write it as integral over closed curve. Uh, we can write x dy first. Uh, we can write it as integral over closed curve x dy minus y dx equal to integral over e dx dy and that's nothing but your area of the reason e that is area of the reason e area of reason e and what is e here e is the reason bounded by that closed curve now, uh, let's, we can take various different kind of closed curve you know, and we can apply this formula. So far, we have not talked about the ellipse. Let's take that closed curve to be the ellipse. Let us 
consider an ellipse. Well, x dy y dx. Uh, so let us consider an ellipse. Uh, x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 in parametric form. Well, let us consider the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 in parametric form. The reason why we do so is that if you want to find dy, uh, uh, you have got, if you want to do curve integral or line integral, then we need to either express x in term of y or y in term of x. There you get under root some expression. So it will be much simpler if we choose um, in uh, parametric form. In parametric form, you have x equal to a cos theta and y equal to b sin theta. And we want a complete loop. We want the starting point and ending point to be same. And we just want um, areas of the region of the ellipse. So we'll change theta from 0 to 2 pi radian. So if I take x equal to a cos theta, then dx d theta equal to minus a sin theta and dy d theta equal to derivative sin cos, so b cos theta. So we can write dx is minus a sine theta and dy is b cos theta d theta. Now we have area of reason. Therefore, we have derived area of reason E equal to area of well, we take now the reason to be ellip area of ellipse equal to half integral over curve. Let's still write the write the curve x dy minus y dx, and that's equal to half your know, theta is changing from 0 to 2 pi 0 to 2 pi x is a cos theta dy is your b cos theta d theta x is a cos theta dy is your b cos theta d theta minus half as it is 0 to 2 pi y is your b sin theta and your dx is minus a sin theta Okay, it turns out to be quite simple now. We can take AB by 2 common here and also AB by 2 common here. So AB by 2, we can take common 
and we can just iterate from 0 to 2 pi integral also we can combine uh, cos square theta plus sine square theta that's 1 d theta cos square theta plus sine square theta that's 1 so we'll have a b by 2 into integral of d theta is theta and if you change it from 0 to 2 pi you get 2 pi and that is pi a b square unit <laughs>